here again and I decided why not add more Tiberium Alliances tips. So one that I know that a lot of people relatively ask about is what to do with an alliance, how to keep it going, and diplomatic associations. Now it can be kind of confusing. <coughs> I have uh, plenty of experience being a CIC. I'm also a CIC on the server too. And as you see, we're doing pretty successful. And this is a relatively new server. It's only been up for a couple weeks. But besides going off topic, you always want to have a description stating either your goals, your background, if you do have one, your intentions. You all you want to put who your CIC is, and if you have more than one, you put their jobs or who's the main. Um, you just want to let people know because they're not going to send. They're not going to trust you if they don't know anything about you, or you, if you don't have any description, you just seem kind of like a shady alliance. You, They might ally you, but it's not really a true alliance. They don't trust you because they don't know you. Now, another reason, or not, not that, sorry. Another thing that you want to have is diplomatic officers. You can't manage in this game without them. So you want to have people who are really nice and very persuasive. My second commander and myself, we are very, very persuasive. And also, you want to always reply and be friendly to your uh, allies or other people around. You don't want to start wars. You want to avoid them or prevent them f between allies and some random alliance and gain more allies. Example these guys here um, sorry um, these guys are part of an alliance called absolute dominion I believe yeah and they were attacking one of our allies which this guy in his alliance and I stepped in because they accidentally included me in and I prevented it now we have four or five sorry five alliances all allied with us just because I dove dirt eh. I diverted that and solved it. Now, when it comes to stepping into other, I don't want to say like people's business, but in a way it is. Because if you're allied with someone and they're having problems, it technically is your business in a way. But you want to really, really look into things and get as much information as you possibly can because you can lose those allies, have people turned against you, or lose trust. It's really, really tricky being in the diplomatic area. So, um, as you can see, these guys, they forwarded me a bunch of thing or a bunch of messages, and I looked into it, I made my statement, it, it just went away. Um, another thing, uh, you won't see our forum, at least I'm not sure unless uh, a second commander picked it up, but because we're already well established and we're not taking low people. But you always want to have a friendly, friendly, friendly topic for your f recruitment forum because a lot of people, I've noticed, it seems they just really like, you know, like they won't go onto it, it like this guy right here it just says recruitment and he even spelt it wrong so you see there's not really anything there this guy he has a hook and you see obviously they got a lot of replies it also depends on your name now also getting further with your alliance and more powerful is joining another set of alliances or joining them and establishing more And I'll pull them up here. It's the uh, whole Jade Alliances. Let's see, you got Eagle Pride, they're part of them too. Jade Talons. Uh, and plenty more, and the main one right here, Jade Falcons. Since then, when we joined them, they got three more alliances, which gave them seven strong. Uh, actually, eight. They have another one, but it's not really an alliance. It's more of like a farming one. Um, we joined them, and we got stronger. I mean,. As you can see, and this may get laggy because uh, CNC script 
it messes around with you with the far zoom but we are now surrounded by allies so you'll also be very safe like very safe because <coughs> like that hook strength really is in numbers and also you also eh, um well I guess it really doesn't matter in a way if you have people who know what they're doing if they're veterans to the game um, but it's really helpful if you do like we taught a lot of these guys how to play and they went from about 3000 ranking to almost you know around me and al almost into the 1000s so it's really helpful because in a way this game is kinda ignorant they determine your strength depending on your rank and your rank depends on your score and score to plant depends on your people and how you know how far you are in so you want more people and you want the highest scores you can get now to start out it is kinda cruel but you gotta do what you gotta do okay. sorry about that I had, to, <coughs> I had to take care of something um, like I was saying you gotta do what you gotta do so you want to get in low ranking people as fast as you can and then the cruel part like I was talking about that comes in is you start removing people from your alliance for the stronger guys and it also depends on your personality I I mean I have done it before but generally I only kick people when they go when they go inactive which means they aren't on often because if they're not active they're not increasing their score and they're not benefiting you and they're not taking part in the alliance and you're just being held back by them so I mean there's a lot of cruel things in the game so you want to keep yourself on your toes as much as you can and also to increase your score involving with um, I'll go into depth with this with more tips but is attacking outposts. Outposts are your best friends they give you research they give you a a little bit of credits but they also give you supplies to continue your marvelous base and also it depends on what's lowest but you always want to keep your harvesters and you want to keep your power plants high power is the key to the game because it's used for everything Tiberium's used to increase all of your marvelous stuff and because without Tiberium you can't increase your crystal production you can't keep you, or you can't increase your command center to get more units higher units same with defense you can't get your construction yard you know etc etc and also from the I'd say the plot about what I've been going over all of those four is because if you really truly want to gain allies and want to be stronger you need to have people that intimidate others they don't want to fight you so they want to be with you now there are those PvP alliances out there but I'm referencing towards PvE so you want to look strong because they want you f to help them in the future and they want you so that they're stronger because they feel more safer and they are safer because when you're an ally your job is to go and help them as much as you can now I'm not talking about moving your whole entire alliance out to go help somebody I mean that's counterproductive you're lo losing all your POI um, you're losing your territory which can be very valuable later in the end game and you might not even remember where it was so you're losing so much so you only send out a couple guys now if you get involved in in it yourself as in they start coming to you or they're they're full in, or waging full-scale war on you then yeah you might want to send out like maybe four or five squads of people <laughs> of about six to seven but besides that all it in a way all it is is persuasion and loyalty that's how you get far in this game so anything else I'll continue in other videos I don't want to keep you guys too long like I have in my Minecraft videos because they're really not in a stage where they can be too long so I'm also going to keep all my videos around 10 minutes long so thank you guys for watching I hope this helped you and I will immediately work on more tips to help you guys out see you later